Hey everybody, Jim here in Akiba again today on uh, what was a fairly overcast day. Uh, but we are walking our way over to a nice little shop as we pass a few little delectable items here. Strawberries in the, uh, looks like a, they're in little mouths or something. Weird looking little thing. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to Friends today. Friends, one of the uh, sort of little off the beaten path, little side street, sort of uh, one of the less popular uh, retro game shops in this building with some... Uh, other stuff, I guess. You can get a massage while you're here. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, friends. Got some nice little signs set up on the second floor and third floor of this building. And we're going to go inside. I uh, asked ahead of time if I could film or not. Which is kind of necessary. Oh yeah, and you got to be wearing masks in here. It's a quote requirement for the store right now. Uh, but yeah, so this uh, cool little store covering two different floors. Uh, yeah, I uh, ingratiated myself by buying some games. Uh, anyway, uh, first we're looking at a little um, box here with a bunch of loose cards. That these are all uh, cheaper than what you'll find up on the uh, shelves and whatnot. Uh, I guess because maybe they're a little, like the condition isn't quite so good. But you can find a lot of stuff in here for, you know, between 500 and a, a thousand yen usually, um, which is okay. Uh, for, you know, some of this, considering the prices that you normally find in Akiba, like Kirby Superstar, that's 1,200 yen, that's closer to like, I don't know, 11 bucks, um, so not so bad, so I guess these carts, maybe they, you know, maybe they're a little dirtier, uh, True Lies, very cool, um, which I don't think I was even aware that there was a Japanese version of True Lies, uh, like Super Metroid, uh, some other stuff like that, so there's some decent uh, little games in uh, these boxes here and uh, they are loose and they are not terribly expensive uh, binary land for 500 yen that's a, a very fun little puzzle game adorable game if I do say so myself and uh, some other stuff in here some dragon quest uh, for 400 yen that's I don't know I think dra all dragon quest games should be like 100 yen uh, Milan secret castle cool game and uh, tiny tunes Great game, Tiny Toon Adventures, for 800 yen. That's not so bad. And these cards really don't look like they're in like that bad of shape. We got some Kunio Kun stuff here. That looks like some Adventure Island. All that goodness. So yeah, uh, pretty cool. Uh, and then like right next to that, cha-ching. We got the uh, the glass case with some of the more expensive stuff in it. There's some Battle Toads, Bucky O'Hare. There's um, Lickle. And Gun Knack, I think Chippendale 2, Gun Deck, uh, all kinds of good uh, Famicom stuff in there. And even we got some Mega Drive, some like DS stuff, I don't know why that would be there. It's not retro at all, actually. Uh, and yeah, like uh, Do-Re-Mi Fantasy, and some Kiki Kai Kai, uh, Undercover Cops, the rare, elusive, expensive stuff, and lots of box stuff, too. So that's cool. So if you have some money to, to burn, they do have some uh, more expensive collector's items here. Uh, also, uh, it is worth mentioning that this shop is cash only, and it's been cash only. I mean, I've, I've come to this shop off and on as we look at some uh, game and watch. That's nice. Uh, I've been coming to this shop off and on for like, I don't know, like 10 years, I think. And uh, they would just, they will not will not invest in any kind of card reader. This is a uh, cash only place. As we look at some more uh, loose Super Famicom games, so these are a little bit more expensive than the other ones. We got Cool Spot and Goof Troop, uh, Kunio no Odin, which is a fun uh, Kunio Kun uh, puzzle game where you create little Odin sticks. Uh, we got Crash Dummies, some other things. Um, what is it? Uh, Sandler? Uh, yeah, yeah, Sandla, Sandora no Daiboken. Fun uh, platformer in the uh, the Legend of the Valkyrie uh, series. And we can see here these are alphabetical. So that's the Na, all the Ns, the Taz, the Supa. Everything that starts with Super is in that little section there. So that's nice. Uh, Virtual Bart for 4,000 yen. That's another one. Uh, I don't think I was even aware that that... Had a Japanese release. Learn something new every day. 
And uh, yeah, we got, uh, what was it, Mickey's Magical Adventure 3 or Magical Quest 3. Uh, and then a lot of more of the, um, you know, more desirable Super Famicom games, I guess. They have a shooting section there with you got Darius, Gradius, Parodius, all, the, all, the, all that kind of stuff. They're marked by uh, genre. We have the action section here with our Akumajo games. Yeah, shooting section there, action section here. But we got some some Akumajo, some Doraemon. We got some other stuff down here that says uh, simulation of some sort. I don't know what all that's about. Um, but yeah, we got uh, lots of stuff here. A lot of the uh, kind of essentials. There's Double Dragon, Rockman, you know, your Rockman X, all that good stuff. And um, Gundam Wing Endless Duel, great fighting game for the Super Famicom. And you know, our first party Nintendo stuff, you gotta have that. Your Metroids, your Marios. So here we have, it's loose Mario World, good shape. And uh, it's 800 yen, which uh, you know, you can take or leave because you know, it's like super, super common. <laughs> Everyone who had the system had the game. So there are literally millions of copies lying around. Uh, but yeah, so we got some stuff here. The shelves are looking a little bare right now, uh, but not so bad on the prices sometimes. These, these are some repros by uh, Columbus Circle. This one, Shabibin Man Zero, is uh, pretty cool. I do like that game. Uh, but there's some uh, repros there, some uh, nicer boxed games here. Outer World, Act Razor, Akumajo Dracula. So, uh, not, not so bad. East 5 on the Super Famicom. I do like me some uh, East 5. Sort of a black sheep of that series. And, uh, yeah, um, Umihara Kawase. Yeah, name escaped me for a second. Yeah, the Super Famicom version, which I've actually never played. Oh, and they're graded here, by the way. So you can look at the condition of the box, the cartridge, and the manual all on the front of the box, which is very convenient. But yeah, I never played the Super Famicom version of Umihara Kawase, only on the PlayStation and also uh, the more recent game on the Switch. As we got some Rockman X games, we got some Ranma, we got Yu Yu Hakusho games, uh, which are cool. The two fighting games, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho 2 and Yu Yu Hakusho Final. Uh, I do like both of those. Some Yu Yu Hakusho games developed by Namco. Here we have a, a whole assortment of AC adapters. Which is convenient. So you got some PC Engine adapters, Sega, Famicom, and Super Famicom. Uh, so that's that's very cool. They even had the uh, Twin Famicom adapter. And we got some uh, soundtracks here. It looks like we're gonna see a lot more of these when we go up to the second floor. But we got like the uh, F0 GX, F0 AX, which is the arcade version. The both of the soundtracks there. Uh, Lament of Innocence soundtrack, which I do like. Lament of Innocence quite a lot. We got Gradius Arcade soundtrack. So there's some cool stuff right here. Uh, and like I said, there's a lot more uh, soundtracks on the way. I think this was probably about the part where uh, the lady was getting a little uh, annoyed with me. I don't think she she uh, assumed I was going to want to film so much. Uh, but yeah, we got some Game Boy stuff here. Lots of loose Game Boy stuff, uh, which I, I personally, I've never been like a huge handheld gamer. Um, but you know, uh, they are pretty sweet. Maybe I should uh, look into it. But we got manuals here, just lots and lots of loose manuals, which is nice. This could be like a cheaper way to maybe get your games assembled because I have found like boxes for sale as well and like Super Potato and other places. So maybe you can buy, if you buy the cart, box, and manual separately, uh, maybe you can save yourself a little, a little bit of cash. Cashew. Um, but we got some boxed Famicom games here, including the uh, Niketsu Kakuto Densetsu 2 on 2 Kunio-kun fighting game, which I like a lot, as well as, uh, you know, Kunio-kun soccer, uh, Ninja Ryukinden, aka Ninja Gaiden, in great shape, complete for uh, like 5,000 yen, so that's like 40 something bucks, maybe like 45 bucks for that, for a complete copy of that game isn't so bad I guess we got some cool stuff over here some consoles we got our twin Famicom which that's the best model right there with the blue and green because it comes with the um, turbo controller which is very nice we got an orange spice GameCube fight stick 
Uh, Mega Drive minis over here, things like that. The 3D Saturn controller, very cool. Uh, we got some stuff there, like 3DO games. They have a few. Also, you'll notice some of these have the little red stickers on them that say new. It's because they are factory sealed. Uh, so, how, however, this place got their hands on so many factory sealed games, I don't know. But you can pick up a still factory sealed copy of Valus 3 for the Mega Drive. That's 5,000 yen. So, again, like 45 bucks for that. Uh, so, I, you know, seems like a pretty good deal to me. Slime World. Brand new factory sealed. Uh, I just noticed that. I, I don't think I noticed that as I was digging through. Slime World, though, that's a more uncommon game for the for the Mega Drive, isn't it? But we got some cool stuff here. These gold cartridges, I guess, for the Master System and Mark III. But there's OutRun and uh, other things like that. So... That's very cool too, and it's nice that they have all of you know so many uh, boxed ones as well. Aleste, the original Aleste uh, shooting game, I guess by Compile, right? They would have developed that. Uh, so that's very cool, and we even got some MSX stuff here, including uh, Gradius 2 on the MSX. That is a uh, very cool. Uh, I think someday, uh, if I uh, pull up to, or if I have more space, I I need more space like accommodate another game collection but yeah I would love to start collecting MSX games such an interesting retro you know, console retro PC whatever we have PC engine here lots of uh, PC engine stuff including East 4 the dawn of East that is a great game uh, the only PC engine East game that was not released on the uh, P uh, turbo graphics we have R type complete CD that's also very nice. So we got some good stuff here. Cosmic Fantasy 3. These are factory sealed and they're 800 yen. Any anything PC Engine factory sealed for 800 yen. That's that's a good deal. That's a good deal. And we got uh, more, you know, we got DS stuff. We got a whole lineup here of Famicom disc games. Uh, another uh, interesting little system. Uh, I have uh, a number of uh, disc games in my collection. They're pretty cool. Gyrus by Konami. That's actually one I do not have yet, but that's 7,000 yen. It's a little little on the pricey side. Um, but I do have some some good stuff on my, my Famicom disc, including the original releases of the Zelda games. And we got some Neo Geo uh, stuff here. Joy Joy Kid is fun. Double Dragon is good. Almost everything for the Neo Geo CD is going to be good stuff. Nam 1975, one of my favorites. Uh, Neo Geo action games, Last Resort, amazing side-scrolling shooter, uh, extremely difficult though. Uh, so yeah, we got uh, plenty of cool stuff on the first floor here at Friends. Uh, plenty to dig through. Like I said, I did pick up a handful of PC Engine games here. As we're up on the second floor, uh, only cash, no credit. So you got a lot of stuff behind little um, glass things like that. But here on the second floor, this is where they keep... Uh, a lot of the jewel case stuff, so as we can look here at some Saturn games like Rockman X3 and a Layer Section, which is one of my favorite Saturn shooters. So on this floor, we'll find, you know, all of the Saturn, the uh, Dreamcast games are on this floor, uh, PS1, PS2, and then lots and lots of soundtracks, which we're going to see in a bit. But we've got some really good stuff here. Sengoku Blade and Sonic Wing Special and, uh, yeah, just lots of... Uh, Lots of good Saturn stuff just right here. And this is some of their lower price Saturn stuff. Guardian Heroes for 3,000 yen. That's nice. Can't uh, can't go wrong with some Guardian Heroes. Uh, and as you can see here, even on the Saturn, we still have plenty of factory sealed Saturn stuff here. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. All nice and complete and in good shape. Gunbird, 4,800. It's a little on the high end for Gunbird, actually. Um, but I do, I do love me some Gunbird. Anything uh, Psycho is always going to be a good time. We got a nice little PS1 section here. Uh, again, you can see some of the factory sealed games, like the Final Fantasy Collection. We got Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, which uh, Final Fantasy VII International, which is nice. It's just basically an updated version of the original uh, Japanese version of Final Fantasy to include some of the things they changed for the Western release. So that is a, a nice little uh, thing to have in a 
a collection if you're a Final Fantasy fan. Uh, G. Darius for the PlayStation. Uh, that is a great Darius game. You can snatch up uh, enemies and use them as uh, little uh, helper options for your ship. So that's really cool. As we carry on uh, some, I believe these are retro game magazines and other kinds of things, books and whatnot, like this uh, sort of Street Fighter 15th anniversary art collection, I think DVD pack as well, because it looks like it has Street Fighter 2 V, so comic versus animation, so that's cool, which Street Fighter 2 V was a, you know, pretty cool little series, I did enjoy that to have it on DVD back in the day actually so we got like art book things um, this is cool a Batsu gun manga I guess truth story Batsu gun um, so that's cool I don't know how exactly you make a manga out of Batsu gun there's not really a story to it per se um, but that's cool <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with a Batsu gun manga uh, and uh, here, yeah, we got uh, lots of retro gaming magazines. Um, so cool, old, <laughs> old eight-bit stuff. Um, that's pretty cool. Thundercross, uh, Gamist, Gamist magazine. So uh, yeah, I'm guessing there's like lots and lots of uh, retro gaming magazines that were disseminated all throughout Japan. Here we have something especially cool uh, in their soundtrack section. We're looking at Rocket Knight Adventures on vinyl. Um, this is something I had never noticed them having before, but uh, they now have lots of soundtracks on vinyl as I get myself into a better position to look at all these awesome covers. Uh, so this Capcom Rondo of Blood vinyl soundtrack by a company called Mondo. So that's cool. I think I've seen some of these on some other people's uh, channels, some channels I watched where they uh, they like to collect soundtracks and vinyl. I've seen some of these, but not all of them. Uh, this one I have seen before, uh, the Castlevania 3 vinyl soundtrack. Look at that cover art. That is just awesome. That's all kinds of awesome. Contra, we got some uh, Resident Evil, that's cool. More Castlevania. This uh, I dig a lot. Gradius. I've always loved all of the all of the music from Gradius, and just look at that. That's just some be really beautiful artwork there. So that's very cool. Um, and then this as well, uh, Zentata, the Taito sound team. So it's got Night Striker, Metal Black, Elevator Action Returns, uh, all on uh, some vinyl here. So that's very cool. So I like that a lot. So yeah, I don't collect vinyl, but if I did, I'd be a, a happy camper. Uh, Sega game. So what we're looking at here right above the vinyl soundtracks. These are little strategy guides So uh, we got some Sonic and other various releases uh, a Street Fighter 02 guide, I guess all about I Don't know pulling off some sick combos in Street Fighter 02 uh, But anyway, that's that's uh, about all I could uh, Muster in there. So yeah, I did not get a massage by the way while I was here um, but yeah, I didn't want to irritate anyone because they do tend to be irritable in there if they think you're taking advantage of the filming there. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Friends in Akihabara, if you're ever in town, you got cash on you, remember that. Uh, drop by, say hello, buy some games. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, goodbye.